WTF Wednesday under the heading of boring PM stuff, which people think gets in the way, but is actually really important. Business cases. Now, I find that particularly in relatively low project management maturity organizations, people are quite resistant to the idea of preparing a business case because in their view, it gets in the way of starting work. What to them is a vitally important project. Mm. However, what I also see in particularly low project management maturity organizations is that the lack of a business case causes all kinds of problems. Have you got any examples of the sorts of problems that you've seen in low maturity organisations that don't run business cases? Yes. <laughs> Who shouts loudest is a common one. How do you hold someone to account for what the benefits were meant to be after however many years it's taken to actually deliver the thing? How do you know if you don't have one, whether what it's cost you to do it has actually completely outweighed any kind of benefit that you would have got from it? Yeah. How do you how do you even know necessarily who's the sponsor for it? Who wanted it in the first place? What if, what if everyone's ended up moving on and no one knows what the rationale for it was in the first place? It's, it's a really interesting one, but organisations have a finite amount of resources. And when I say resources, I mean that in its fullest context of machinery, money, buildings, people, that definition of resources. And, and how do you judge which initiative is going to get you the most bang for your buck or give you the most benefit as an organization if you don't have a business case to be able to compare and contrast and you don't have a business case to be able to refer back to at key decision points that says remind me why we're doing this again so that you can make that objective decision of actually i don't think this is perhaps going to do what we thought it was going to do yeah. Maybe we should think about reallocating our precious resources somewhere else. Yeah. So talk about organisations having finite resources. I think that one of the things that you can see in an organisation that's not using business cases properly is that you get execs sponsoring projects and effectively on a JFDI basis. So somebody in a, in a senior position says they want something done and it happens. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is that if you have senior person one mm -hmm. who says, right, I want all the coal in the organization painted white yeah. um, and senior person two thinks that it looks better in black. Mm -hmm. So you have person two commissioning a project to paint all the coal black again. And you've got at best duplicated activity. So people doing largely the same thing or at worst, you've got activity that's actually fighting against each other and effectively wasting the organization's resources. resources yeah absolutely cross purposes so a business case at its most fundamental is setting out a rationale for why we want that project to be done you don't even have to think of it as a project it's why we want to do the thing it may be delivered as a project it may not mm -hmm. but is this going to fly as an idea is this a sensible thing to do what is the criteria for determining whether it's sensible you've probably put some effort in with various people across the business to put that down on paper that at a very base level is the business case isn't it yes and if you're using business case cases to approve pieces of activity which may or may not be projects then probably you're doing that using a committee of people so executives drawn from across the business and there's a better chance of the executives thinking about the organization holistically and approving the pieces of activity that are good for the organization as a whole rather than just their little bit you would hope mm -hmm. that said executives would think hang on a moment we talked about that in our collective decision-making forum. Maybe I should check before I do yeah. this thing. So the downside from a sponsor's point of view is that it takes a bit longer to get something started. And if the portfolio management office is coordinating that with some kind of change board, they might get the reputation for being the project prevention yeah. office. But it makes sure that the projects that do get implemented are the ones that are actually going to be most aligned with what the organisation wants to do. Mm. It's a shame 
when you do have that kind of process in place or you're with an organization that's trying to work towards putting that in place and you perhaps come across pockets of poor behavior where i'm just going to start anyway because it's going to get approved and it's not my process and even in some cases well i'll get so far along that by the time they come along to tell me that i can't do it the sunk cost fallacy applies (laughs) we've spent so much on it anyway we might as well carry on not a good place to be in no. If you've got business cases coming in, then you've got sight at portfolio level of what the organisation wants to do in terms of change. And you can start to think about how best to sequence that change so that you can see what change is hitting which parts of the business. And you can start to think about how much change different parts of the business are having to absorb or whether they're having to absorb multiple changes one after another Mm -hmm. you can start to factor in things like um, resource capacity plan Um, and there's we've got other videos on resource capacity planning i've put one there you can start to factor in that kind of thing and think about when you might have resources available to deliver other projects and the business case itself gives you a baseline against which to measure using that business case as a yardstick or a meter stick as, as we probably ought to be doing. Oh yes, nowadays. a meter stick. Measuring stick. <laughs> as to what represents good, good value, it enables you to answer the main project question. So is it worth cases. it at the beginning, we do it or not? Mm-hmm. Is it still mm-hmm. worth it at each mm-hmm. decision point? And mm-hmm. if you don't have one, how can you make that decision? 